is an important, important game for the Mets and the Cardinals today. Just a quick jaunt in the Midwest, one makeup game, but it's between two teams fighting desperately for that final wild card spot. The Mets, a game and a half out. The Cardinals, a game and a half behind the Mets. And this one, if the Mets win, will determine the tiebreaker. The Mets would have the tiebreak over the Cardinals. Andre Vellante goes to work for the Cardinals. As we said, Andre, since July 1st, has been very effective in rotation for the Cardinals. He's trying to even his record today at five up and five down. So Francisco Lindor with a four game hit streak. We'll get things going for New York. 22 homers for him, 64 driven in. And it's chopped to second. Donovan charges, got the hop he wanted. And a ground ball out for Palante gets the game started. Tyrone Taylor batting second today for the Mets. There's one to third. Arenado, happy feet, throws on the run and got Taylor by a step. Two ground ball outs. And eight pitches for Palante on a hot day. Two up, two down. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo, a chopper to second. Three ground balls from Palante and an efficient one, two, three start. Sean Manaya will test the heat of St. Louis and the Cardinals lineup as we head to the home first. So Sean Manaya comes into this game incredibly hot, coming off his best performance of the season. Seven innings, shutout ball, 11 strikeouts against Minnesota. I am very excited about seeing if he can back to back. That was the best I've seen Sean throw. He was throwing bullets. He had everything working. We'll see how it goes for him tonight. Swung on a miss, strike three, so three pitches and one out. For Shaw Manaya. Tommy Pham, the ex Met, the ex Cardinal, now a Cardinal once again, popped up. Jose Iglesias shading his eyes from the sun, and he finds it at the last second and makes the grab for the second out. Wilson Contreras, the DH. Remember, the last time the Mets were here, Wilson Contreras broke his forearm when JD Martinez hit him with the bat with catcher interference. Got him swinging, the high heat, so an impressive. First inning for both pitchers. Cardinals go one, two, three. First and third spot here for Alvarez. Top two, no score at Bush Stadium. And that one gets away from Pajes and it'll score a run. Pete Alonzo slides in the home safely. Jeff McNeil advances to second and the Mets on the board. They're up one nothing. Break a ball in the dirt. Nothing that uh, Pajes could do here. He gets in front of it. Well, that'll at least avoid any trouble of getting the big hit with runners in scoring position. That one counts just the same. It's chopped to third, and Nolan's got that. A wild pitch gives New York a gift run in the second inning. Pete Alonso scores it. It's New York one, Cardinals coming up in the second. Where Paul Goldschmidt faces Sean Manaya. And he takes that one right over the heart of the plate for strike three. Not sure what he was looking at there. Three pitches, yet another out. Three strikeouts and four batters for Sean Manaya. Nolan Arenado. Three for his last eight. That one hammered down the line. There's an extra base hit for Arenado. That's more like it. He's on his way to second. Arenado's 16th double, his ninth hit in his last seven games, and he represents the tying run. So this is where the Cardinals, Brad, really struggled against the Cubs in a four-game series. Not for a lack of opportunities. They just struggled to get the big hit. Skies that one into left center field, coming over his Bader. He knows this outfield well. The formal Cardinal makes the grab for the second out of the inning. Got him chasing. Nice sweeper. And that retires the side. Four strikeouts through two. Manaya rolling. Back at Bush Stadium, we go to the third inning in St. Louis. A big hand for former Redbird, Harrison Bader, who waves to the crowd. Mets one, Cardinals nothing, as Bader will lead off here. And the first pitch popped up. Now the fans will cheer a little louder as he's going to be out number one on one pitch. Cardinals now have another runner in scoring position on the base hit by Tommy Pham. So Pham at first base, Victor Scott at second. Good speed on the bases for Wilson Contreras, who's also hit Manaya well. So could this be the inning? Goes with the high fastball and gets the strike three swinging. So Manaya pitches out of trouble. Mets still on top by one. Here's J.D. Martinez, who went down on strikes back in the second. Pitch is smacked into center. Victor coming on, dives, and makes a great catch. Yeah, you ought to smile, Victor. Welcome back to the big leagues. That was an excellent play. If he doesn't make it, that's a big problem. But he did, two outs. Right on cue, you want to continue to be solid defensively. Sinking line drive, had him playing well, but the perfect jump there by Victor Scott in the second. Andre Palante, you know he is loving that. Right back where it came from, but right to second. Donnie is there. 
And another ground ball out. Andre's got eight of those. He'd like eight runs. Let's see if the Cardinals can get on the board in the fourth inning of a one run game. So lefty hitters back to back singles for the Cardinals. And they're getting better looks against Manaya this second time through. Pedro Pajes, chance to be a hitting hero in the fourth for the Cardinals. We're 0 for 3 with Risp so far today. There go the runners. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Got him with the breaking ball. So again, the strikeout coming up big for Manaya. And Alvarez has a base hit. The Mets have two on. So an opportunity now for the former Cardinal, Harrison Bader. You know he'd like to come through in front of these fans. Bader popped up to the catcher his first time. He's 0 for 1. Top of the fifth. Mets won. Cardinals nothing. Ground ball. Base hit. Down the line. That'll score a run. McNeil trots on in to score. Bader in there at second with a double. And the Mets take a 2 nothing lead. What Bader has done this year that has been a big improvement is he against right handers in particular. He's always been a guy that's flown that shoulder out on breaking balls. He has stayed in this year. And that is why he has been successful. He's driven in some big runs. Downstairs he walked him. So Lindor is on and it's up to Tyrone Taylor. With the bases loaded and one out. Tyrone Taylor's grounded out twice so far this afternoon, both times to the third baseman. Bases loaded, Mets looking to break it open. And they do! Tyrone Taylor down the right field line, coming in to score is Alvarez. Bader right behind him and being waved around third is Francisco Lindor. It's a bases clearing double for Tyrone Taylor, and the Mets take a 5 0 lead. Fastball, outer half, just good hitting. And the Mets have finally figured Palante out and gotten hits in the clutch. Sean Manaya staked to a five run lead. He's gotten into a little bit of trouble today at times, but has been really, really good to get out of jams. There's strikeout number seven. Clip the letters, and there's one down. The speed of Mason Wynn, and for the fourth consecutive inning, the Cardinals have a runner in scoring position. A runner in scoring position where the Cardinals are 0 for 4 today. Mm. Swung on a miss, strike three, so he's strikeout victim number eight for Shaw Manaya. And there's two away. Fly ball right field, going back is Taylor at the track, at the wall, and he makes the grab. Of course he does. Tyrone Taylor, another great play in right field. And the Mets get out of another jam. Here it's 5 0. Mets in the sixth. Pitch to McNeil. Drills one down the right field line toward the wall. Gone! Right over the wall down the right field line. It's 335 to right. That one just sailed over the eight foot high wall. McNeil's in double digits with his 10th homer. And the Mets have a 6 0 lead in the sixth. McNeil continues to rake right out of the all-star break. Got a fastball down and in where he likes it too much plate and that's called wrapping it around a foul pole. Meanwhile Sean Manaya working on another gem back out for the seventh inning nine strikeouts to follow up an 11 strikeout performance in his last time out. Mm -hmm. Strikeout number 10. Wow. Sean Manaya dealing back to back games with double digit strikeouts there are two away Cardinals that just uh, have no idea he's just totally dominating so Manaya looking to get one more out fly ball left field Nimmo inching back yes and sir. retires the side seven brilliant innings back to back starts for Shaw Manaya. Mets up six nothing well it's an unsafe situation but Edwin Diaz has to work sometime he has not pitched since getting his first four out save of the season last Tuesday so that was six days ago. Remember the importance of this game if the Mets hang on to win here in the ninth they own the tie break over the Cardinals should that come into play and the Mets are one out away. Fly ball center field ranging over his Bader. He's got a beat on it and that ends the game. The Mets come to St. Louis a one day business trip and take care of business. Jeff McNeil the home run Tyrone Taylor the big bases clearing double the Mets win six nothing Shaw Manaya brilliant to break a short two game slide.